Hello everybody and welcome to a new video and welcome to my channel where we talk about everything music from death metal to queen and everything in between. On this episode we'll do something completely different and it's going to be awesome. Today we're going to soup up a guitar and see if it actually gets better by replacing the pickups on it and some of the electronics. Okay so one of my clients is actually a Slash freak, like he loves Slash and Guns N' Roses of course. So he asked me to replace the pickups on his Epiphone for some Seymour Duncan slash signature pickups. So I told him, if we're going to do it, we need to do it right. And also, if we do it, I'm going to make a video on it. And he agreed. So here we go. Let me introduce to you the guitar. This is an Epiphone Les Paul Standard guitar. It is made in China and it has original Epiphone pickups. So for the pickups, he decided to go with the Seymour Duncan Alnico Pro slash signature pickups. Now, right off the bat, I told him, if you expect this guitar to sound like slashes, 50s Gibson, it's just not going to happen. I don't care how much money you put into it, it's just not going to happen. But it certainly can sound better. It's definitely going to sound different and that's a win in my book. So Epiphones famously don't have great electronics. So in addition to changing the pickups, we're also going to be changing the pots, the input jack and the pickup switch. And of course, in order to do a really fair comparison, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the guitar, put some new strings on it before I replace the pickups, record some stuff with it so we can hear what it sounds like as it is with the new strings, and then use the same strings, which are going to be brand new, and record some stuff with the new pickups and new electronics. So that's going to be an interesting comparison. And I think it might actually help out a lot of you guys who are thinking about doing an upgrade like this and hopefully help you manage your expectations. Is it really worth it to spend all this money on a guitar like this? Would I do it? Probably not. But that's not to say I haven't done it in the past, which I have a couple of times. But if this was my guitar, I would have sold it, put that money and invested onto a better guitar myself. But that's just me. Sometimes there's an emotional attachment to a guitar and I definitely understand that. So you want to soup up the guitar that you already have. Sometimes it's a lot easier to just buy one pickup and then buy a second pickup and then buy the electronics, you know, little by little, as opposed to forking up all the money altogether to buy a new guitar. So I get that too. And sometimes your guitar just feels amazing and that can happen. So I definitely understand that as well. But personally, I wouldn't recommend doing all of this to get a better sounding Epiphone guitar, especially because of the fact that this guy already owns a couple of Gibsons. I try to talk him out of it, but hey. Okay, so let's get to work. Okay, so here's the guitar with the new strings and set up. It looks better already and it sounds better already. And that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Because it was going to be very lopsided if I changed the strings after changing the pickups. Imagine that, new strings and new pickups against old strings and the regular pickups. It was not going to be fair. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a little track with this pickup configuration, which is the original Epiphone pickups. And I'm also going to record a little solo on it. And then I'm going to change the pickups on it, change the pods and everything, and record the same track, same rhythm, and record a solo on it with the new pickup configuration so that we can compare and see whether or not it's worth changing the pickups and investing all the time and money onto this guitar. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop me a like if you do. And of course, drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Okay, so let's do this. Obviously, I'm going to use the same plugin and the same settings on both recordings. Here we go. <laughs> Okay guys, so that sounded pretty good. Now let me go ahead and replace all the electronics and the pickups on this, and then we'll do a second recording and compare them, all right? See you in a little bit. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of days and I gotta tell you, this wasn't easy. First of all, I really feel I need to let you know that as far as the Alnico Pro slash pickups go, there's two different kinds of pickups. So there's the four connector one, which is the regular one, and the one connector homeworker, which is the vintage one. And of course, this one had the vintage one. So I had to completely rewire the whole thing. And that was an ordeal. But luckily, I pulled through. So here's the deal. In case you're looking to buy these pickups, just know that the one connector humbucker is actually two connectors into the one wire. So you have the lead wire or the hot wire inside. And that cable is actually wrapped around with a metal braid. And that metal braid needs to be soldered onto the pot for ground. 
and that's so hard to do. I mean, there's a lot of videos teaching you how to do it because of the fact that it's so hard to do. I mean, come on, there should be a better way. There has to be a better way, right? Anyway, here's the Les Paul Standard, all souped up with the new Seymour Duncan pickups, new pots, new input jack, and of course, a new pickup selector. I gotta tell you, at least as far as look goes, I think it looks a lot better with the exposed pickups. I actually took the pick guard right off and it looked even better. I might be a little bit biased because it really looked like my Axis, but even the owner of this guitar said, you know, it looks really dope without it, but he decided to keep it on. But all in all, it turned out really good. I mean, the pots are a lot better than the Epiphone ones. Of course, the pickup selector is way better and the input jack also is better. So let's take it for a spin and see what it sounds like. I am going to go ahead and re-record that same track and then solo over it so we can compare the two tracks and see which one sounds better. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that these pickups are not as hot as the original ones. They have a lot less gain. They're very clear, but that can be a really good thing too. I mean, on an Epiphone guitar, but on a Gibson guitar, it would really bring out the best of your guitar. Okay, so same guitar, same plugins, same everything, different pickups, different electronics. Let's go. Okay, so after recording, I am actually going to jump back and forth between the pickups so that we can hear the difference in the mix. And you can tell me which one you guys like better. So don't forget to do that in the comment section. Drop me a like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel like your man if you haven't yet. And of course, if you wanna become a part of the team and help the channel out big time, make sure you smash the join button down there. A little goes a long way and we surely do appreciate it. Okay, let's do this. That's a wrap, everybody.